guys, I am going to show you today how I make French press coffee. Now, there's a lot of real fancy schmancy ways to do it. It involves measuring and being really super precise, but that's not how I make it. Anyway, so just watch. <laughs> so, um, I'll put the ratio down below. It's kind of different what some people say. I like to do a one to four ratio, so one tablespoon for every four ounces of water. So today I'm going to do three tablespoons. And it's really important to use um, coarse ground coffee. If you use the stuff that you just buy at the store and it's fine ground, that's actually for a drip coffee maker and it will make a mess. So it really needs to be coarse ground. Your best bet for the best taste is to freshly grind it every day, which is what I do. Um, and if you don't have a grinder, when you buy your beans at a coffee shop, they'll usually, you can get them to grind them there for you. And you can tell them you want it coarsely ground. Oh yeah, I like also to keep my beans in this uh, canister because it, it like presses down and gets all the air out and just keeps them fresher longer. I'll also link to the coffee that I like to use because it's the best. So you'll boil your water. You don't have to have one of these, but that's what I use. And so because I have three tablespoons, I'm gonna pour 12 ounces of water. You don't want it exactly boiling, but so usually once it gets to boiling, I let it sit for just a second. You're gonna pour it in. And then use a wooden spoon or just probably not metal so you don't want to break the glass and just give it a stir and then you let it sit for four minutes all right so after the four minutes is up i'm just going to put the top part on and press it down and that's it guys um a delicious coffee You'll find that French press coffee just doesn't have as bitter of a taste as drip coffee, and it's just better. I think the way that I do it makes a really, really good coffee, but if you want to get super fancy and actually weigh all your ingredients out, you certainly can do that. Um, and I'll link to everything that I have used, but I hope that you will experiment with French press and you'll find it's delicious.